This is a part of my flyer collection. Uh, and um, I'm also a curator of one of the greatest hip hop collections, excuse me, one of the greatest hip hop museum collections called the Paradise Collection. That's the first time I performed in Pittsburgh. This is the actual flyer from? That's the actual flyer from, I think it's 1990. That's Scorpio, Busy B, that's me, that's Kashim, the Shirt King, that's Raheem, that's Grandmaster Melly Mel from Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. Uh -huh. And we at the bar at the Latin Quarters. Popping bottles in 85, baby. That's uh, KRS-One, me and Grandmaster Flash at the Latin Quarters. That's Chris Rock and me on stage at the Latin Quarters before Pookie. So, this was a, a night where the Boogie Boys performed. I had the awesome two and it was my birthday. This was uh, July 22nd, 80s. I, I turned uh, 21 years old. Oh, wow. And my mom came to the club and everything. They surprised <laughs> me. They bought me my first bottle of champagne. <laughs> it was pretty cool. And uh, where was that at? That was at the Latin Quarter. Now, did you own the Latin Quarter at the time? No, no, I never owned the Latin Quarter. I wish. Okay. I was the manager and the host and the promoter of the club. And uh, the Latin Quarter was the incubator of the golden era of hip hop. It was in the best place in the world, uh, right in the middle of Times Square. It was the uh, Big Daddy Kane, Eric Van Rockham, Biz Mark, uh, Roxanne Shante, MC Shan, um, Cool G Rap, Nice and Smooth, Third Bass, Kid and Play, Salt and Pepper, Queen Latifah, EPMD, Heavy D and the Boys, De La Soul, The Jungle Brothers, The Tribe Called Quest. <laughs> I mean, you know. Not um, to mention the Black Watch movement. Not to mention KRS One. Yeah. And it was the beginning of the Black Watch movement and X Clan also. Uh, Public Enemy's first show. Right. As a matter of fact, that's the flyer right there. Look. That's the actual flyer from Public Enemy's first show in New York at the Latin Quarter. Oh, ain't that some stuff? <laughs> you and Just Ice? Yeah, me and Just Ice. So this is just history after history. Look, the Funky Four Plus One More with Shy Rock, <laughs> the first female rapper. This is crazy. You know, it is. It's like hold on, I saw Four Some D's. Oh yeah, the Four Some D's. This dude right here was my one of my elders and one of my teachers, one of my mentors. He had a band called Tough, and if you look real close at him. He probably looks like a comedian that you know by the name of Tracy Morgan. Because that is his father, Jimmy Morgan. Ooh. He was a guitar player and a lead singer for a group, an R&B group called Tough. Now, right around the same time, we was coming out in the streets. See, in 1982, with our uh, hip hop, the bands in New York would come out with full bands and DJ, and, you know, play live outside in the street in the park for us, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And uh, um, Jimmy, he taught me how to um, how to hook up the band, how to how to uh, plug the guitar into the yeah. guitar amp, and how to set up the right. drum set. How to do sound. You know what I'm saying? Basically <clears throat> how to do do a live sound and everything. What And, and uh, that was my beginning to really learn how to operate the equipment. From Tracy Morgan's dad. Yes, Jimmy Morgan.